All righty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode on the Bodybuilding News Network. As always, I'm your host, Sanj. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out the channel. If you enjoy this style of content, definitely consider subscribing. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about the men's classic physique lineup for this year's 2022 IFBB Pro Kuwait Pro or the Kuwait Classic. I've heard some people call it uh, this weekend. It's going to be going down. Oh, and what's this weekend? The 18th, 19th, and 20th. So look forward to that lineup uh, for that show. Today we're going to be talking about the men's classic physique. As I just said, we have approximately nine competitors coming into this show. Um, I think it's going to be a, a good show, uh, especially start looking at some of these competitors. We haven't seen them, some of them we haven't seen since 2019, Romania, sometime, some even 2018. So uh, before we get into any of that, I just want to uh, thank everyone who watched the Boston Pro coverage. I genuinely, genuinely appreciate all the support, the kind words, uh, the compliments and the critiques. Uh, they both go a long way here to uh, make this channel better uh, and my coverage and my content better. So better, better. Better? Better. Anyways, uh, anyways, guys, uh, let's go ahead and start off with the first competitor uh, from Saudi Arabia, Munir El Jassas. I'm sure I butchered that one, but uh, that's just how it's going to be today, guys. Uh, apologies. Now, I would say this is going to be one of my favorites uh, looking at the lineup. It's going to it's good with him being the first guy uh, on the scorecard. A uh, a men's, I believe it was middleweight pro card winner. And then he also um, won his pro card in classic physique as well uh, at that same show. The um, amateur what was it the amateur UK, I believe it was. Uh, so, you know, overall, really great physique. Uh, I like how uh, he's able to have all that muscle. And, you know, hopefully he's able to maintain a lot of that muscle from the uh, 2018 amateur Arnold UK. So it's been a few years since we've seen him on stage. Uh, I'm going to assume that he's been able to maintain and even improve upon that muscle uh, as long as he's staying within the weight caps of classic physique. Now there's always a, a chance, you know, he could splash into the 212. There's only three competitors. So we're going to wait on that lineup uh, for the 212 for later, but I think it'd be really cool if he, if he could splash into both shows, but I know uh, some organizations don't want you to do two shows. Um, or two divisions in the same so in the same show. So uh, neither here nor there. So uh, Munir El Jassas, best of luck at the Kuwait Classic Pro. Next up on the scorecard, uh, we have a lot of Kuwait guys, as this is the Kuwait Classic. Uh, out of Kuwait, Abdul Aziz El Mershedi. I think that was pretty close. I'm, not, I'm pretty happy with that with that pronunciation. And for Abdul Aziz uh, from Kuwait, he's going to be making his splash into men's classic physique, can, uh, switching over or converting from men's physique. So board shorts to classic physique posing trunks. Now, um, I don't know what to expect from him in the lower half, as you really can't see uh, much going on there. But I'd say overall, he has a really good flow to the upper body. He's very full from the back. I'd like to see more some more density, but uh, it has been um, it has been a minute since we saw him compete. Something like the, uh, the 2021 Big Man Show weekend, uh, where he placed 12th in the men's physique. So one switching over to classic physique. There's going to be some literally some growing pains as he's going to be filling out and growing into that division. And then also we haven't seen him since 2021, which uh, you know, it seems like just last year, but, uh, in terms of bodybuilding, that's a long time. So, you know, I really hope that he took the time this, uh, off season, if he did take an off season, which it seems like with the scorecard, he took the off season, uh, put on as much muscle as possible so that he can come into this, uh, classic physique debut and, uh, leave a memorable impression on the judges, the fans, uh, and the media is myself. So, uh, that's kind of a big one, especially for me is, when someone comes into a show and they leave a really good impression, uh, they do a great showing, bring great conditioning and very full, uh, especially when you look at the classic physique and the men's physique. Um, I like to see that and it's very memorable. Uh, and I remember the names, so it always helps. So um, 
Abdul Aziz, best of luck at the Kuwait Classic. Next up on the scorecard from Kuwait again, we have Mansour El Nasir. Now, the last time we saw Mansour El Nasir compete was at the uh, Kai Green Classic, the 2019 IFBB Kai Green Classic, where he placed fifth in men's classic physique. Now, what can we say about his uh, presence and, and what he brought to that Kai Green Classic? I would say I'd like to see a lot more conditioning, uh, especially in the lower legs. There's definitely some room for improvement for conditioning and even size, if we're being honest. Uh, upper body, I'm not sure if the expanded abdominal during that front double bicep is going to be rewarding people in 2022 if you're not hitting a vacuum. So kind of uh, one or the other. Are you going to do a crunched abs more like a Brian Ainsley showing off the more bodybuilder esque physique, or are you going to do someone like, you know, we have Urs Kalzinski in the lineup rocking that fantastic vacuum. So kind of one or the other, you don't want to just do the traditional bodybuilders um, expanded abdominal to make yourself look larger. So um, that's kind of just my two cents, but overall, I think he's going to do well in the show. Uh, I would expect him to do a top six finish. So best of luck to Mansour El Nasir out of Kuwait at this year's Kuwait Classic. Next up on the scorecard is Bader Al Sabri or Sabri. I'm not too sure on that one, but uh, this will be an episode of Butchered Names. So I do apologize to uh, all the competitors except Urs. Can't mess up Urs. I'm sure I have at least once, but uh, Bader Alsbury from Kuwait will be competing at the Kuwait Classic. The last time we saw him was at the 2019 Ben Weeder Worldwide Classic British, uh, where he won his pro card. So pro debut for Mr. Bader Alsbury. Now, I will say that with him turning pro in men's physique and then, you know, converting over to men's classic physique, kind of the conversation we already had for Mr. Abdul Aziz, you're going to have to grow into that show. Now he, he, luckily he has a great physique, very well conditioned, uh, has a, uh, an adequate amount of size here, but, um, just looking at how narrow the, calves are and how narrow the quads are from the front, I would worry that he's going to have some uh, size discrepancy coming into classic physique, especially since we've already looked at someone like uh, Muzer El Jassas, who was the first person we talked about. Apologies on the butchering. He was very big coming from the middleweight pro debut at his show uh, coming into the show. And you also have someone like Urs Kalzinski we're going to talk about in a little bit. Two very full people. So if um, Mr. Al Sabri wants to place in this first call out, uh, hopefully he's been able to take the time off uh, from his last show um, where he won that pro card and uh, makes the improvements, especially uh, in the lower body. So uh, best of luck to Bader uh, at the Quake Classic. Next up, we have Abdullah Al Sari Afi. El Sari Afi. That one, not going to get that one right. But for Abdullah, we'll just leave it with Ab Abdullah. And uh, absolute unit of a man. Definitely going to be landing, in, in my opinion, in the top three for this year's uh, Kuwait Classic. Battling, potentially even battling it out for the win. I'm not too sure. Uh, but he looks phenomenal coming into this show. The last time we saw him was at the, I believe it was the Romania Pro, the 2021 Romania Muscle Fest is what it's called, where he placed 12th in the classic physique. So, uh, you know, I'm not too sure on the placings of what he could get here or why he got 12th at that last show. But, you know, overall, looking at his physique, he looks like a very full, very complete bodybuilder um, in classic physique, uh, at least. I would say he looks, although he's in very impressive from the front, biceps, midsection, taper, lat spread, uh, chest, quads, and even the calves, I'd say he is lacking in thickness and density in the hamstring department. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more conditioning, although his calves do look phenomenal. 
And then I'd also like to see a little bit more uh, muscle density and development in the lower back. It seems very, um, very underdeveloped in no disrespect. I'm just um, grasping at straws at this point. When you look at such phenomenal physiques, sometimes it's a little bit harder, especially for me. I, I'm not typically a negative person, but uh, it's sometimes a little difficult to pick out those things. But, you know, if I were to say something, that's definitely what I'd say for Mr. Abdullah out of Kuwait here coming into the Kuwait classic. Uh, best of luck. I predict top three, definitely uh, for this gentleman. Next up from Morocco, Morocco, ooh, uh, Abdul Karim Amari. That sounds pretty good. Uh, yeah, it was pretty close. Another competitor I would say uh, is going to land into my top four call out. I would say uh, would be this Abdul Abdul Karim or Abdel? Is it Abdel Karim? I think that's how it's pronounced. Definitely let me know, guys. I, I always love to learn a little bit more. And, uh, you know, with my wife being um, you know, a native Arabic speaker, uh, it's something I'm going to be working on in the future to learn, um, working on my Arabic. So I am always uh, trying to learn more. Now, like I said, I would say that he is going to be one of those guys uh, that I think is going to land in this top four. Based off of the last time we saw him was at the what, Tsunami Pro Cup, the 2021 IFBB Pro Tsunami Cup Pro, uh, where he placed eighth in that lineup. And I think the main reason why he didn't place in that top call out was although you can see some vascularity throughout the physique, it's definitely not the sharpest that he could come in. Um, from the front, I'd say uh, the chest and the arms could use a little bit more uh, leanness, the, the quads could use, you can see a little bit of the feathering with the teardrops and the, the quad sweep. You can see a little bit of the cross striations, but the, the, the tail of the tape, is that what this guy's tail of the tape is from the back. You can see the water retention in the lower back, uh, the non striations in the glutes, the kind of the sagginess at the bottom of the glutes, uh, things of that nature. So overall, I, I still think he's going to land in the top four. I, I would be surprised if he didn't, but also, um, I would say I'd like to see a lot better um, and, and a lot, wow, words are hard, a lot better package in the form of conditioning from this gentleman. So um, Abdel Karim from Morocco, uh, if you bring better conditioning to this Kuwait Classic than you did at the Tsunami Cup, I definitely think you have uh, what it takes to get a top four finish. Uh, so best of luck, good sir, at the Kuwait Classic. And next up, definitely going to be the favorite to win the show out of Germany on a hot streak, Urs Kalzinski, placing uh, top three at the Arnold Classic, um, the 2022 Arnold Classic, winning the Boston Pro, and then rolling right into the very next pro show. Uh, I'm wondering how long he's going to stay on prep, uh, but you know, if he's just going to keep knocking out these winning and, and winning these shows, I mean, why not? You know, uh, I definitely don't think that he's going to be winning the Olympia this year. I think uh, Chris has that under lock for the just the thickness and the density um, compared to Urs. No disrespect to Urs. Uh, I would say for Mr. Kalzinski, he does need some more density in the back uh, if he's going to compete with Seabum, uh, with Chris Bumstead, the reigning three time, the three Pete classic physique Olympian champion. So I don't think there's anything wrong with Urs just racking up a bunch of prize money, really getting his name out there, uh, collecting the hardware. I mean, shoot, uh, once I get in shape this year, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to roll through every Cali show I can find. So uh, nah, uh, no knocks here for Urs Kalzinski hopping into the show. I think it's going to be uh, a very decisive victory for him here at the Quake Classic. So best of luck, Mr. Urs Kalzinski. Next up, we have Omar Caldi. It's like Khaled, but Caldi. No disrespect, obviously. From the Saudi Arabia uh, Peninsula. Actually, from Saudi Arabia. Uh, he's going to be competing at this show. Uh, the last time we saw him, another competitor that competed at the um, Kai Green Classic in uh, 2019 is Omar Caldi. Now, he did place fourth in that show uh, again, 2014, 2022. Uh, the judging criteria might be a little bit different, but 
he doesn't need too much more in the in the terms of uh, physique. I'd like to see more in the lats, but overall, he brought an amazing package to the Kai Green Classic in 2019. I thought his conditioning was pretty spot on, especially from the front and even from the back, his hamstrings, his calves, the lower back. You can see he was in phenomenal shape for this show. So hopefully, Mr. Omar, uh, you roll into the classic, uh, the Kuwait classic with the same conditioning, but still making the improvements over the last few years in the terms of muscle density, muscle thickness, things of that nature. So best of luck to Mr. Omar. Uh, unfortunately, the photos aren't that great from that show, but I still think he's going to get a top six finish definitely at the Quake Classic. And the last competitor from Iran is Amir Hossein Sadat Nia. Sure, I butchered that one, but Mr. Amir. Mr. Amir competed at the 2019 Romania Muscle Fest where he placed 13th. Now, I will say he is a bit undersized for this lineup, although he does have good conditioning, really good conditioning from the front. And I would say not as comparable of conditioning from the back. Uh, I still like his odds coming into the show. Um, I do not know where he's going to be landing, but, um, you know, best of luck uh, regardless it's going to be a great show. Uh, I'm hoping that the hype and excitement of competitive bodybuilding is going to be rolling from the Boston Pro right into the Kuwait Classic and then right into the Arnold Brazil or the Arnold South America, I guess is what they call it. And then we have the Indie Pro coming up. Very excited for the coverage of that. Uh, I've been talking with those guys. And then we also have the um, a couple muscle contest shows out of San Diego and um, Los Angeles. So I'm very excited. Competitive season is in full bloom. Uh, and me, Sanch, here at BNN, we will be here to cover uh, as many classes and divisions as we can for every show coming up in the near future. So, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it for another uh, lineup. I will say quickly um, my, my predictions for this show uh, before I have you leave here. I'm going to say that Urs Kelzinski is probably going to be winning this show. Um, and I think the um, Munir El Jassas uh, in the, uh, from the uh, Amateur Olympia in the UK is going to come in second. I think he has a, a, a beautiful flow to his physique. And uh, if he's been able to maintain any amount of that size, I think he's going to do well. Uh, Abdul Aziz El Mershedi, apologies. Uh, I think he's going to do well here as well, maybe landing in that third spot. Uh, and then in fourth, we have Abdil Karim Amari. Uh, I, I would still like to see him with a little bit better conditioning, but I still think he has what it takes uh, to land in this top four. Uh, and then outside of the top four, uh, we're going to have um, a, a mix of these gentlemen. I'm not going to say which who's going to land where, but uh, these are the remaining gentlemen of where they could land outside the top four. But let me know, ladies and gentlemen, please let me know in the comment sections below. Uh, what are your thoughts about the lineup in men's classic physique at this year's 2022 Kuwait classic just coming up this weekend? Um, what did they say? The, the, the 18th of March. So stay tuned for that show. Uh, but that'll do it for another episode here on BNN. I'm your host, Sanch, as always. Links to the athletes and my links as well are in the description of the video. Check it out. Support the athletes. That's what we do here. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the men's physique lineup tomorrow. <laughs>